keep one fundamental thing in mind as Howard Zinn warned that the establishment though it may reward us in order to maintain its control if necessary it will kill us the essential idea that motivates white supremacy is that of maintaining control and dominance and this establishment that maintains control and dominance will at one time reward you Negro bourgeoisie and when necessary to maintain its control will also kill you and I'm saying that because there's some of us who think because we are receiving certain rewards from this system that these rewards will continue forever but you have to recognize rewards are a mean of control as much as punishment. We talk about it in psychology as what? Positive reinforcement. Yeah. Bribing. Yeah. So you, 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 you give positive reinforcement, good salaries or what have you, good house and so forth, and all of a sudden those people who were gate rebels in the 1960s become neoconservatives in the 1980s and said, you know, they got the good life, they bought the idea, they think that this is going to go on forever. Have not studied the manipulation through rewards. And they went to college to study psychology, you know, and I've told you before. How we are miseducated when we study psychology. We'll go right in there and study Skinnerian psychology and conditioning. And what have I told you before? We will not put ourselves in the place of the rat in the box. And we will not put ourselves in the place of the Pavlovian dog. We misidentify ourselves with the experimenter. But the actual condition of African people at this point is that of the Pavlovian dog and the Skinnerian rat. With others being at the controls and manipulating rewards and punishments and what we call negative reinforcements as a way of controlling our behavior. And when we talk about behavior in psychology, we not only talk about movement, but mental behavior as well, thinking in certain ways, seeing in certain ways, experiencing the world in certain ways. We, we include that too under behavior when we talk about behavior. And there are three fundamental ways, you see, of maintaining behavior in a conditioning situation rewards, and then uh, what we call positive reinforcement, then you have negative reinforcement, which isn't the same as punishment. It's, it's, a, it's a situation where you release a person from a painful situation on the condition that they behave in a particular way. So in a sense, you put them in a painful situation, you say, well, I'll let you out of this if you do this. Or if they're in a painful situation, you say, well, I'll remove this situation if you behave in this way. This is what we call negative reinforcement. You see, a release from a negative situation, which is a form of reward. So I will release you from the ghetto if you say, I am an American and I love it. There is no racism. I don't feel dominated. Individualism is the highest ideology in the world. Okay, we'll give you a little extra pennies and you can live in a nice house. Get yourself a VCR and look at movies. <laughs> and, and, and then those who belong to the underclass, we just can't change them. They, you know, they're in the painful situation. They look like they even like it there. So for those, we have to administer what? 
punishment. You see. But what, are, what do all of these have in common? Social control. Control. You see, so those of us who are being rewarded by the American system doesn't mean that we are any more out of, out of the control of Europeans than those of us who are in the prisons. The game is the same. Social control, and until you decide as a people to end the capacity of whites to control your lives, we will always be subservient to them. And if one day we have to recognize that it becomes necessary to annihilate African people in order that the European stays in social control, then they will annihilate us. I don't care what kind of degrees you got and what kind of money you're making. The Jewish educated march to the chambers with the uneducated yeah. You think you're going to hold up your degree when they march you to the chambers? I went to Harvard. Good, you go first. We'll give you that privilege. <laughs> you know, we'll put you in the, our most comfortable gas chamber. <laughs> Just like, 